Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well, and welcome to part three of AIW creation in uh, Factor Two. Uh, first things first, I just want to apologise for the time it's taken to get part three out. I uh, built a new machine. It's taken a while to copy everything across and get it exactly as I wanted it to for this tutorial. Uh, but we're here now, so let's kick it off. What I wanted to do today was show you how to create a blocking path for the AI to take whilst racing to make it look a little bit more realistic when you're racing them. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll just go into AI editor mode here first select path sub menu and you want to check to see if you've got a blocking path you don't have one here so what we want to do is go down here and name a new path uh, and just type in block there we go and hit enter and then here you'll have a new blocking path so select that and now what, we, what we're going to do is exactly what we did for a fastest path we're going to record a lap but what you want to think about when you're recording this lap is where would you block uh, another driver trying to overtake you during the lap at what corners but also at what corners you won't do it if especially if the track's got issues or there's some tight corridors where it might cause an accident with yourself and AI so you really need to be thinking about that too uh, but the first thing we'll do is we will record a new best path what I'll do now is it's exactly as you would do with the fastest you can record as many laps as you want it'll just keep taking the fastest and fastest one each time um, now you're not going to be able to put in a lap that's as quick as your fastest path because you're not going to be on the racing line but just try and get as close as possible so take the racing line where you can um, and then when you want to block obviously move off that line so what I'll do is I'll create a blocking path now I'll come back show you that blocking path so you get an idea of how I've driven it and then we'll edit it as we did the fastest line cool I'll see you soon Okay, so there we go, we have a blocking line, a little bit quicker than my last lap, um, not anywhere near the fastest lap, but let's uh, jump out now and uh, have a crack at editing it. So we'll hit escape, we'll save that AIW, and then we'll go back into race, enter AIW again, I go to path submenu, make sure that that's the current path and the visible path is your blocking. And there we go. So now what we've got to do is do exactly what we did with the fastest path. And that is get this giant car out of the pits again. And jump into the top down view. And ah yes, I completely forgot about this. So this is this is where it can get pretty tedious if you're editing a track that already has um, a pit lane so in this case you can see that the pit line deviates massively from the main blocking line that we've just created and also from what the pit lane should be so what we actually have to do here is select every single um, pit line or rather waypoint and Actually, this could get pretty confusing, so I might unselect all 
and go back to actually it's quite lucky that this track has such a short pit area what you need to do is basically select every single I don't know of any other way of doing it if somebody else does then it would be great to hear but um, I don't know any other way of fixing this other than selecting every single pit waypoint um, make sure that we get the right ones alternating alternating until they disappear this one this one this one this one where do they end they end here so we've got to basically select all of these um, which can be extremely tedious if you have a large large track with a very long pit area um, for example something like Road America would be an absolute nightmare to fix this on um, so yeah we've got to select them all unfortunately and then we have to do a shift left and right arrow so shift left shift right and it kind of adjusts all of the waypoints left and right one re-centers them really um, is what you're doing and then you'll find that the line will oh wow it's all over the place hey okay so we'll just quickly go through I said I was going to show you guys everything so this is everything um, this is the kind of remediation that you need to do when you're working on somebody else's file obviously you could uh, fix this by re-recording a new pit lane so here we go we just got to make sure that we get the right ones um, when we join up here so just got to keep an eye on them as they come closer together because these ones are actually quite close together aren't they okay it's got to be that one yes it's deviating over the line so it's definitely that one and then we've got to go all the way up to the one that shoots off into the distance what happens when we shift left right that okay so that's actually fix that now what we'll do is we will unselect all and we'll go back to just fixing up the pit lane so there you go guys you've seen a little bit of a fix that you unfortunately have to do when you're working on somebody else's file okay so we'll just we need to bring all these back in line because this blocking line will be very different in many cases to your fastest line okay that looks pretty good that should be pretty good there okay so we'll now drive back to the start finish line and we'll do the same correction we did at the with the fastest line previous in the previous video okay there we go so we can see there's a little bit of a deviation there over the line so it's like the one before and the one after and then we'll select six or so obviously the more that you select the uh, the better the um, normalization of that curve will be um, so okay and then we will go over here we'll go manipulations and we'll normalize that curve uh, and then we'll unselect all and then if we drive forward to the line you'll see that's a little bit more gradual as it crosses there there's no jerk in the line now so now we need to go back to the pit entry and do the same thing that we did to the start uh, the fastest path before this one should be a fair bit different because I kind of moved on to the into the blocking path a lot earlier yep so it's, this one should be way out I think yes so a fair bit of correction to do here now 
by moving this line you're not actually moving the uh, pit entry for the fastest so it basically creates a copy of the pit entry for each type of line that you create but this is going to take a while okay. so this is just the way that I do it I've said before that you can select to move them onto the line and then click basically click, click normalize but obviously if you don't move those other lines the that it's the car is going to look odd when it comes off the racing line and, and heads into the pits so I prefer to do it manually you get a more natural uh, racing line and a more natural transition off off the racing line this is a little bit boring I might fix this um, no I won't I'll stick with it because this is really kind of the end of the, the last thing that we're going to do uh, and then in the next video I will um, run a race with the IRW that we've created so that you can see how much of a difference it actually makes to uh, racing on a track especially a, a very tight track like this with the fastest down the blocking makes it extremely difficult to pass as it would be in the real race so let's uh, hopefully we don't have too many more to do one of the things I will do too is I'll create a separate video showing you how to uh, import a different type of car for creating your hot laps with um, I find the base cars, the skip barber um, quite difficult to create a lap with um, the skip barber is obviously quite a difficult car to drive but um, creating a racing line with that car is not really going to give you what you want especially if you're trying to create a, a line for GT3s and GTEs so um, that's why I've imported one of these um, I've got a Porsche for rear engine behaviour and I've got the um, the BMW here because it's quite a, a stable car to hot lap in just needs a couple of tweaks with the setup and then you're pretty good to go so I'll, I'll do that next I'll show you how to import a car from a mod into R Factor 2 dev mode now obviously you can't do this um, with the DLC cars because they are encrypted as far as I know you can't actually use those cars um, to create fastest um, or AIW lines with. This is taking a while, isn't it? I'll grab a couple and show that you can multi-select and move a whole bunch of them in at the same time and then you have to do smaller tweaks with each of those so here we go, so if we do this you'll see that they'll all move across like that make that one basically touch the line deselect it move these other ones across that's pretty good deselect that one okay Probably could have done this from the start, it would have been a fair bit quicker. I've messed that up, haven't I? Because I've left one selected. And my car is overheating. Okay, so let's just. 
put that back on the line and then this one back there you go so it's all in the racing line there unselect all let's go back to the start of the pits and see what else we've got to move in these two make a little bit more of a smoother curve heading into the pits there we go that looks better not too bad so heads in so there you go that's the blocking line created now all we need to do as we did before um, click find corridors save the waypoints and jump back out leave the track which we'll do now and then leave uh, Factor 2 Dev Mode uh, and then I'll cut back and we'll package up the track as a whole uh, and launch it into R Factor 2 and uh, we'll have a race okay so here we are back on the desktop so what we want to do now is bring up R Factor 2 Launcher and the location of our newly recorded ARW file so we're going to copy this location just before we do anything and we're going to go into our mass utility as we did previously we're going to open the I'll just open here and show you so go to your normal installed location for cable park as we have previously make sure we open the main mouse file that has the ARW file in it we will cut that out and then we will add the one that we've just copied the location for and just created select that click open and then we'll repackage that um, mass file and they will recreate the new RFCMP file so click on the package there create a single CMP file and as we did before we've got cable park selected from the last tutorial we have the location that it was in and all the mass files as we had previously so what we need to do now is click package make sure we get no errors click done close that and then in our package uh, tab just go down to Cadwell Park and make sure you uninstall the previous version that'll refresh and if you're listing by installed you'll see the package there that we've just created click install hopefully it should all go well get succeeded and then you'll be able to jump into the actual game itself and run some test laps as we did previously if it's all good you're all finished otherwise you can jump back into dev mode and edit individual waypoints one at a time as we saw previously and correct anything you need to do in the blocking path as you did in the fastest path and that's it so i hope that was helpful everyone if it was please give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and i'll be sure to upload more content soon thanks everyone bye